welcome to my little presentation. This is the BE Micro CV FPGA port, which contains the uh, Altera Cyclone V FPGA. It's a board you can get for $50 currently at Aero Electronics, for example, without making any commercial here. Um, this here is the USB to serial converter, which is connected to the um, to the FPGA port to give us a USB to serial bridge. Here we have two wires attached. One is going to ground, the other is going to a random pin. And here is our sound output. As you can see, I already plugged in the a micro SD card with some file on it. And well, as you know, Parallax has released the source code for the Propeller 1. So what I did or what I actually customized. And the uh, source code uh, was containing the wrong LED mapping. So I customized the LEDs, uh, the, uh, the pin numbers, and I added the SD card uh, to the pins 10 until 14. And what we are running now here is the Parallax Propel P8X32A on this FPGA. So this is a part of the customization you see. So you have the wait a moment. Yeah, you have the SD card pin assignment. And well that takes a while to compile or to synthesize actually. And if you then go back you go back to quarters. Yeah, this is the AHDL code, uh, the VHDL code. And yeah, well, then you just program it, which uh, it would already did, as you can see here, 100%. Yeah, and we now go to the spin tool, which is the normal propeller environment and we load up some code which plays a sit dump file for the sit cog on the actual board. So here you see we have right pin as at uh, output 2, left pin is at output 3 and the SD card starts at pin 10 as defined in our file. So it gets from, uh, it reads the file from this SD card and yeah, this is the file name. Let me upload this. I load it to RAM because I have no EEPROM connected to it yet. So it only, it's not persistent. So let's load it and we should hear some sound. Okay, I stop it. And now you actually see that if the SID cog, so the SID emulation is unloaded, that actually two cores get free again. Because one core is used for the SID cog and the other core is used to uh, for the SD card. As you actually can see here, um, you have two cores defined. It, it doesn't mean if, you, if you're if you using an object that it uses its own core, it can also run on the same, but in this case they are using one core each and uh, yeah, well, um, and then therefore we see that uh, three cores in total are used. Thanks for watching. Keep you updated.